So over the last three to five years, I've spent over $100,000 on various different freelancing platforms. And one of the main ones that I use all the time to this day is Fiverr. And before I started spending all this money on different freelancing platforms, I did a bunch of different freelancing gigs myself. So I know a lot about this industry from being a freelancer myself and also being somebody who has hired dozens and dozens of them. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the top five Fiverr gigs that require no experience experience or skill, but you can still make really good money from them. So if you appreciate this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. Let's try to get this one to a thousand likes and let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so the first one on my list could be a bunch of different things, but basically you wanna make money from something that's fun that you already do anyways. So this could be a bunch of different things and basically you just wanna write down all of your hobbies. But then you want to figure out which ones of your hobbies you can actually make money from. So you wanna type in all these different keywords onto Fiverr. So for instance, let's say you spend a lot of time on Discord. I know a lot of people who watch this channel do spend quite a bit of time on Discord. I have my own Discord. Discord, which you can definitely check out. So you go to Fiverr, you type in Discord, and you see there's a bunch of different options for different types of Discord related gigs. So let's say you're spending like eight hours a day in Discord anyways, you have a lot of experience with it. What ends up happening is you sort of have an intuitive understanding of what makes a Discord good, what makes it bad, what art is good, what art is bad. And so when you see all these different Discord related services, like becoming a Discord community manager, this person's charging $60 for that, this person's charging $250 per week or designing discord related art this person charges $30 to design discord banners and what you have to realize here is if you're spending a lot of time on discord you have an intuitive understanding of what makes a discord banner look good or bad so I'm much more likely to hire somebody who markets themselves as somebody who designs discord banners versus some random graphic designer and you can even get paid to chat in a discord basically just be active in it so it doesn't look like it's dead Right, so all of these things are things that you probably know how to do anyways if you're somebody who spends a lot of time in Discord. And if you're somebody that's created your own Discord, maybe you can go and do that for other people. So for instance, I created my own Discord and I kind of didn't like how it looked. I thought other finance related Discords looked better. So what did I do? I went to Fiverr and I hired somebody to make my Discord look pro. I hired this guy, Arnukas. I paid him like 200, 250 bucks, something like that. He did a phenomenal job and I'm super happy with his work. So this is not just Discord. This is anything that you spend a lot of time doing. So let's say you spend a ton of time on YouTube. You might have an intuitive understanding of what makes a good thumbnail and what doesn't make a good thumbnail. Or maybe you have an intuitive understanding of how to edit a video effectively. And maybe you can even go a little bit deeper than that. Let's say you spend a ton of time watching finance related videos. Finance related videos have a certain tone and cadence and a certain editing style that they typically do. And that's going to be different than a gaming channel, for instance. And so if you can become a really good editor for finance related videos and kind of know what people are looking for, you can get paid amazing money for that. So yeah, I think you get my point. Try to find things that you're already good at or you already spend a lot of time doing. And one example of that would be Discord if you spend a lot of time on Discord. The next one on the list is going to be transcriptionist. And this is one that I'm actually in the process of making an entire video about because it is such easy money. So for instance, here's a gig on Fiverr. I will transcribe videos or do audio to text transcription in 24 hours. They get paid $35 for 60 minutes. So obviously the faster you can type, the better. You can also find even better gigs if you're fluent in multiple languages. So yeah, this one is super easy to make money. Lots of different websites, lots of different opportunities for people who do freelancing. Next one on the list is going to be website testing. And this is basically where you test out some sort of software or website that a company is trying to beta test. And a big company will oftentimes hire hundreds and hundreds of people to do this and they'll pay them really good money. And they really just want you to give them some good feedback, maybe tell them if there's things you didn't like and what things you liked. So for instance, there's this gig right here. I will test and review your website or app for bugs, usability, UI, and UX and that stands for user interface and user experience. And you can see the basic gig here is $70. And basically they try the website out and they do like a one minute video report. 
So, you know, are you somebody who uses apps, websites, and software? Probably, right? And so you could do this, and as long as you're good at giving them really good feedback, you can make money for doing this because you're a consumer and they want to sell things to people like you. The next one you can do is authentic commenting on websites. So this is where you go to a website or a blog, maybe you read somebody's article, and then you give your honest feedback on the article. So a lot of people want engagement, especially when their website is really young and they don't have any people actually reading their articles. And so they would really like somebody to give them feedback on their article, as well as just get some comments in the comment section so it looks like people are actually reading it. You see a ton of different gigs on Fiverr for this. I will write five insightful 80 word blog comments or website comments and they're charging $50 for that right so you're basically just getting paid to read the article and then comment really generic things like hey nice article I really liked tip number three something very similar to this it's basically the same thing just a little bit more complicated is giving honest reviews now you have to be a little bit careful here because you don't want to be unethical and actually review a product and get paid to do that but not reveal that you're getting paid to do that because that's technically a sponsorship right so this is an honest review it's not a sponsorship those are different things legally speaking but with that being said companies really like people to give honest reviews for their products and there are actually gigs where people will make YouTube videos to review the product and again you want to be ethical here if you're getting paid to do it you have to reveal it as a sponsorship but yeah you can get paid really good money to do this the next one on the list is going to be SEO reports that stands for search engine optimization reports now if you've been watching my other videos you've probably heard me talk about digital marketing and how people have been getting jobs left and right with my friend Seth's free masterclass, which you can check down in the description and the pinned comment below. Seth literally had a 16 year old who was able to get a $40,000 a year job while only working 30 hours a week. And part of digital marketing is SEO. Now there are a bunch of different websites out there where you can actually get automated SEO reports. Some of these websites are paid and some of them are free. So an example of a free SEO audit you can do is SEO Optimer. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but, but yeah, it's SEO P-T-I-M-E-R. And you can basically get a free audit done on that website. And there is a guy posting a gig to do an SEO audit here, and he's probably using a free auditing software. And he's charging $60 for something that takes him a few minutes to do. But if you wanna spend a little bit extra money, you can use a paid product like Ahrefs. And so this person, for instance, is running Ahrefs and SEM Rush reports for SEO competitors, and over a thousand people have paid him to do that. So it really does not take much knowledge at all. You pretty much just have to type the person's website there and then it just does it for you. Or in the case of looking up keywords, you just have to type in keywords. Extremely easy to do this. And as you can see, there are people on Fiverr who are making big money from this. So for instance, in a lot of different niches out there, there's free and paid tools that you can do this with. So maybe look up some tools online, type them into Fiverr and see if there's any opportunity for gigs there. Like I mentioned before, check out the video of the 16 year old who is able to get a job job in digital marketing. Also gently tap that like button, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video and I will see you next time.